God. There is exactly one pair of these jeans on Earth, and today, I have them. These jeans use the thickest, heaviest denim in the entire world. The leather patch on the back is a half inch thick and sewn onto the jeans using deer tendons, aka sinew. Today, we will be climbing a ladder. That ladder starts at some of the lightest weight jeans in the world and goes, goes all the way to, to undoubtedly, undoubtedly the heaviest. heaviest. What's up everyone? It's Big Mike back with another video. Hope you're doing well. Let me just cut to the chase here. I have seven pairs of jeans, each one heavier, thicker, rougher than the last until we get in the basically to the highest level you can't get any heavier thicker whatever it may be Ugh. than the 40 ounce jeans okay so let me catch up to speed with the race to a heavier denim weight because it didn't exist and then it became an all-out war of who can make the heaviest <laughs> denim originally levi's denim started off with like a nine ounce fabric because that was kind of the limits of technology as technology got better levi's kind of continuously up the weight of their jeans they stopped at around 12 ounces, which is the standard. Wrangler, of course, acting as the industry disruptor, changed two things. The twill type, which we won't get into today at all, but I did do a video comparing Levi's and Wrangler's. And the other thing they changed is instead of 12 ounce fabric, they use 14.75 ounce fabric. When we were talking about weight of fabric, we were talking about how much does a square yard of that fabric weigh. So a square yard of this Blue Jay fabric from Naked and Famous weighs 8.25 ounces and a square yard of this 40 ounce jean weighs 40 ounces. Then I believe if the history I have is correct, Edwin made 16 ounce jeans, heavier weight jeans. And some Japanese mills were making crazy 21 ounce fabric. 21 ounce fabric is considered unbelievably heavy. Full disclosure, Naked and Famous did send me, not these jeans, these jeans and all those other jeans are free. I have to send them back, but I could not make this video if it wasn't for Naked and Famous and Redcast Heritage. Naked and Famous had a huge hand in popularizing very, very heavyweight denim. A race began where 21 ounce was the heaviest, then there was 22, then there was 25, then one day there was the heaviest denim in the world, 32 ounce denim and now we have 40. Okay, anyways, now that that is all out of the way, we will be going through the jeans using the Strike Gold SG9903 as the fulcrum. This is where things begin to get crazy. <sighs> Okie dokie, so keep in mind, obviously these were sent to me, I have to send them back, so they may not all fit me perfectly, but this is Naked and Famous's Blue Jay Denim, 8.25 ounce denim. If you live in a very hot climate, this is probably going to be what you'd want because it's very, very lightweight. You're probably more familiar with fabric like this in shirts, like this wouldn't feel that obnoxiously light. You would just think that it's built for shirts. Not a lot of break-in, really virtually no break-in, even though they do feel a little starchy. Nothing that crazy. Big jump here because we're almost doubling the weight. This is 14.75 ounce denim. This is just Wrangler denim. But these are the jeans that you know, you love. This is just, dare I say, this is how pants feel. That is how I would best define these. And now we find ourselves at the cusp of war. 21 ounces. Also, I feel like I should mention that, no, I didn't want my hair to be cut like this. I just had a different barber. Now, actually, although they're 21 ounces, like I said, they're not the craziest thing. I would actually say unbranded 321s, one, they're famous for a very specific reason, but two, I would probably categorize them as a mild 21 ounces because although, ugh, the fabric is heavy, it is not incredibly rough. There's not a ton of really intense texture that you feel when you walk around. It just feels like a heavy pair of regularly flat jeans. Kind of the analogy people always use is they feel like heavyweight sweatpants. They're famous because these jeans fade incredibly fast and dramatically. We are officially in the war zone territory of jeans. These are the peaceful pacifist jeans that are not fighting for anything. These are our soldiers. You know, there's a lot of suckers in the world today, people paying way too much when they should be saving money. So what if I said there was an extension that could save you up to 90% off of everyday items, like this for example, without a coupon? Well, there is, and you can download it on Google Chrome or on your iPhone and save money every single day. This video is sponsored by Carrot, which is an extension that you should not be shopping online without. I use Carrot literally every single day to make collections of things that I'm wearing, what I'm looking at, what I'm going to buy, what I don't like. I can make gift registries. I don't need 19 tabs open anymore. I can just make a collection on Carrot. But the real power feature when you're shopping every day is Deal Hop. This one costs $89. I click Deal Hop right here. Boom. Here's one on eBay. 
eBay for $7, 92% less. And the best part is you can literally use Deal Hop on anything, not just department store items. You could even look up these pots that Taylor got at a flea market for like $3 that she insists are better than my fancy pots. If she wanted a matching set of Civil War era cups, she could look it up on eBay or any other site and make sure she's finding the best deals across the entire internet. Thank you so much, Carrot, for sponsoring this video. Longtime partner, I cannot recommend Carrot enough. These, my indigo covered friends, are Strike Gold SG9903, the machine that is used to make them exploded while making them. These jeans were sent to me by Redcast Heritage, who is one of my favorite retailers of denim because of their insanely long and detailed descriptions. And of course, this one opens with this. Please note that these jeans are not for the faint hearted. If you're not confident in your ability to handle the weight and hardness of this ultra heavy denim, we recommend refraining from purchasing. These are a mistake to buy for most people. Oh, and these have a trick up their sleeve because they come in at 24.8 ounces, but that is not their final weight. They get heavier the more you wear them. Oh boy. Even though they're not the heaviest jeans on this list, they are unbelievably rough, even compared to the heavier weight jeans. There is lumps in the yarn. It is heavy. I can grate my fingers across it. You can probably hear that. Oh, absolutely brutal on the lower males. What I will say though, what these jeans have going for them is that they are by far the most beautiful textured heavyweight jeans that I have ever seen. That's kind of Redcast's specialty. Redcast has a ton of things besides denim, but really they go the craziest route with denim. I want to give you a live view of why I am grunting and groaning in this video. It's because my crotch hurts. On lighter weight jeans, usually the pocket holes are rather stiff, so it's hard to button. On heavyweight jeans, it's literally impossible. Ugh. I will put every pair of these jeans on in the video properly. God. The craziest thing is, actually, I said these jeans get heavier when you wear them. Technically not when you wear them, but the first rinse, these jeans will shrink up to 10%. So that adds an extra two ounces to the weight of the jeans and makes them much heavier and tighter. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. What you're about to see has never been done on YouTube before. I'm going to stick this screwdriver into the buttonhole. Ugh. Boom! Okay! Alright, so amazingly, we still have some functionality with these jeans, I say, as I can barely bend over to cuff them. These jeans are still built very well. Not that these jeans are not built well, but these still have hidden rivets in the back pockets, which I think is amazing because in order to make this denim work when you're sewing and everything, you are hammering it, you're pushing it, you're sweating over it. Wow, I am... Taylor just hugged me goodbye. She's going to get a coffee. She said, oh my God, why are you so covered in sweat? I'm going to put on the next jeans, but I got to get a drink of water. Naked and Famous's 32 ounce denim. This denim is so notoriously difficult to build and produce that the mill refuses to produce another batch, which is why this is the final run. Okay, here we go. Wow, these are tight jeans. Why would you ever not make these in a straight fit? A little tighter than I'd probably normally wear, but pretty good fit. While these are heavier and thicker than Strike Golds, they're noticeably softer. That's what's crazy about Strike Golds. This is, it's kind of like a very luxurious feeling carpet. <laughs> Buttoned easy. Okay, didn't even have to use my tool. I guess I can't use the tool because these I have to go back to Naked and Famous. If I was adding no extra effort to how I walk to make me not look stupid wearing these jeans, this is what it would look like. It's flinging my legs back and forth like rag dolls. It feels like there's a possession in my pants. I'm not kidding, I'm trying to describe this in ways that we can understand across video barriers. All in all though, I would say, if you got these sized correctly, they would be wearable. And Garrett from Naked and Famous, the beast that has been wearing the 40 ounce jeans for a long time, the reason there are fades here, has said these break in in a few months and they're like soft sweatpants, which is really an incredible thing to say. He's very manly. And now, the heaviest jeans on planet Earth. 40 ounce jeans. The 32 ounce jeans have this unbelievably heavy leather patch. The 40 ounce jeans have two of those unbelievably heavy leather patches. The last thing I will say is, you'll notice the main button here is not what you typically see. It is a screw. It is screwed into these jeans, and then you have a giant, like, number 10 YKK zipper, I think, I don't know what brand. Nice and roomy. Oh, yeah, see, these are, this is easy. Oh, these are not bad. Wow. Hey, babe. Hi. 
Check these out. These are the heaviest jeans on planet Earth. What's the point of them? It's so Oh my God, why is this so thick? You've never said that to me before. These jeans are actually, dare I say, compared to the 32 ounce and the 26 ounce, or depending on if they're washed or not. Pleasure, they're pleasurable to wear. That'll do. The Mecca of fashion, 40 ounce denim jeans made exclusively by Naked and Famous. I can hang out in these all day and not be fatigued. What do you think? I think they're terrible. You may be the only woman to have ever worn these jeans. <laughs> Anyways, that is about it. Taylor has taken a very strange liking to these 40 ounce jeans that we have to send back today, so we have to pry them off your legs. Good luck.